talk about what happens prior to the snap, not necessarily after the snap, because yeah. a lot of fans think that how far off you play on a wide receiver, how tight you are inside, outside leverage. A lot of fans think that you kind of have that leeway, but really within the structure of a play, that defensive stem is what we'll call it. That defensive stem is really kind of ingrained within the play concept and, and play overall, but there mm -hmm. is some leeway given to you players. So I want you to talk about maybe some of the, the purpose behind that showing, you know, up at the line of scrimmage, then kind of bailing off like you see here. Um, guys, um, talk about that career and how much, you know, if there's time spent doing that, like how does that come about? Uh, but, you know, pre to post snap, like you initially you're up at the line of scrimmage, then by the time the ball snapped, you're off. Kind of talk about that preparation and, and what that means to the defensive play. For sure. I mean, right here, I'm just really trust guys. You know, majority of the time we come out, we uh, we come out and we're, we align press. But nine times, uh, like six mm -hmm. times out of ten, we're either bailing on a third or a fourth. You know what I mean? Or, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes we'll throw in, you know, man and press and play man. So really just giving that illusion to the quarterback, not, not trying to get read right now. You see, uh, I think that's who is at the top. DeMar doing a good job of yep. bailing out there, even though he's playing cover two, he's showing in the box. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I feel like disguising plays a big part in, in, um, in especially a young quarterback like Kenny Pickett. I'm young too, but I mean, he's not experienced as a Tom Brady or, you know, a Pat sure. Mahomes. So, but like just giving them an illusion that we was playing man here. So you see DeMar playing like showing like a single high and right. Jaquan doing a good job showing like it's like it's cover one. And then me trying to give that illusion, like, okay, I'm I'm off and inside by myself. Right. And I I'm I'm sure he peaked that because I kind of peaked his eyes just looking mm -hmm. at me a little bit pre-snap. So I'm like, okay, I'm giving them an illusion and I'm playing off off and inside one. And then DeMar's doing a good job of disguising as well. It's all core guys. That's why mm -hmm. Coach McDermott always preaches like all the time, like you're one eleven, like, but you know you have to do your job in order for all eleven for us to work. So you know even Taryn doing a good job of showing, you know, outside leverage cover one, like you know what I mean. But yep. in reality, in reality, we all got our eyes on the quarterback. And me, I was trying to show off and inside, like I'm playing off off man. But then I at the snap, I kind of come down so I can get a collision and make him go inside towards my safety help. You know what I mean, cover two, mm -hmm. and I'm a flat defender, but. Right now, I get a, a piece of him, and I force him inside. He's running a fade, but you know yep. he has a he has a, he has a uh, go inside of me, which is a good thing, you know. Yep. And cover two because you don't want him to throw that. You're hole supposed to funnel him inside, right? Yeah. But well, if you can, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So I guess I kind of like discouraged him a little bit when he see me come down as he's mm -hmm. running full speed, and it kind of knocked him off his route a little bit. He stems inside, and he has a stem back inside to restack but, uh, you. Yep. Right. So now I have nobody in my flat. So like like I said, I can sink a little bit more. But as I go to uh to reroute him, I like kind of burst back because I see get my eyes on the quarterback, right? And if you if you freeze it right there, mm -hmm. he's staring down Deontay Johnson. No doubt. He's staring and there's nobody in my flat. So what I'm like, what am I supposed what else am I supposed to do? Sink. You know what I mean? It's time to go make a play at this point. Play high to low, right? And especially play in this type low. of coverage, play high to low. Facts. And then now as you play it a little bit slower, his shoulder, like you can see his shoulder doesn't point up. So each isn't th point up. So you think it's intermediate or, or quick, but he really tries to throw one ball, like a whole shot, like mm -hmm. in between the hole. And um, I really got to give credit to, you know, the whole defense uh, scheme because without the disguise, he probably wouldn't have thrown this ball because you probably think it was cover one and I was beat. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I got to just give the credit to, you know, the, the defense right here. It was but, choreographed nicely, right, Ant? Yeah, it was beautifully choreographed. And, Kyrie, you spoke so well, like, highlighting all those pieces. I want to dive a little more from a detailed perspective into, like, specifically what you were doing. So, Eric mentioned, and, you know, again, things are baked into the coverage, and you're talking about the design and the choreographed piece. What you're doing on this where you initially, you know, you're showing up at the line, and then you drop back, and then you come, you're playing games with, with leverage and inside and trying to make Deontay Johnson think different pieces – how much of this, like what you're doing on this play for you specifically, how much of this is like, hey, this is what you're doing on this play versus how much mm -hmm. of it is you being like, I think I know how I can like mess with him a little bit. Like how much is it? you? No, like this, this, is, this was this was I mean, it wasn't in the play call for me to stem down on a snap. Like that's that's not how you're supposed to play cover too. Yeah. But it's me trying to affect the quarterback in order to get him to bait him into throwing the ball how he did. You know what I mean? Because yep. right now I'm like, I'm not really worried about him running past me, like I said, because I'm a yeah. cover two defender. I'm a 
I'm a curl flat defender. You know what I mean? I'm a I'm a force I'm a force player in the run game. Run game. Yeah. It really um I think it was just it's just him, you know, taking the bait, I guess. You know what I mean? I was able to just show off my ball skills and make a play. And is is in this instance, is it is this kind of you just applying like general like football IQ and kind of messing with Pickett or versus how much is it you just, you know, like you talk about, you're both young, but you trying to take advantage of a young QB with some mind games, or is this potentially something you saw on tape and you thought if you presented this look, you could bait him into this? Um, Honestly, I just felt like I just need to give a different look. And, you know, sometimes mm-hmm. you, you have to align and play how it's supposed to be. But, you know what I mean, as the game went on, you know, you can't give the same look. It's just like boxing. Like, if you give somebody a right jab, the whole match, you're like, okay, I'm going to give you a counter too. So I was just really just trying to implement. I think it was like last maybe 30 seconds of the second of the first half. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking they're really trying to get go down and get some points on the board. Yeah, right? chunk play. He, and he's aggressive. Like, and I've seen that on film. He he's not afraid to to fit the ball in anywhere. Like he feels like he has an arm like Mahomes, which he's a great quarterback with a great arm. But you know, what I mean, he, I mean, he feels like he's that guy, which mm-hmm. which makes him which makes him good. Like good player, he's gonna be a good absolutely. Player. But that's so yeah, tremendous because it's like it's like using you're literally using like the situation and kind of using his own nature against him by yeah. you know, combining all those pieces with what you're doing pre and post snap yeah. and then how you play it to bait him into that. That's very yeah, smart. He's not a check down, Charlie. He's a, he's a he's right. A and so. and what I like about this, we talked about the choreography real quick, and we got one more play after this. You know, the choreography, the 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 dance before the snap is so important, especially. Uh, given the situation, as you said, in the game. But also, you got to think about it. Hamlin, Jaquan Johnson. Um, again, you're to the you know, the strength of the passing of the formation. So, again, you, you understood not only the player, but also the scheme in your assignment. Um, and, I mean, you can't really blame Pickett for taking this shot. Again, with the players in this at, at the safety level and what they were showing prior to the snap. It just – that's why – prior to the snap so much is happening that a lot of fans don't you know really get to hear about or talk about which is why i'm glad you brought all that up um mm-hmm. when it comes to and it's and most of it is from the shoulders up and understanding that player and comes from your your film study and comes from you understanding you know pick it and you know the the scheme of playing cover two kind of you know coming down from that you know that off position and forcing that receiver to go inside you so that he has to widen his stem, which takes more time, throws off the rhythm, everything, all these little details and nuance go into a play that in the end you make look so easy because of your athleticism. And, but so much of it, Kyrie comes from the shoulders up when you say, right, for sure. Like all you right. Said, so a lot of it is, is mental. No doubt about it, man. And that's, that's why we appreciate you coming in here into the film with us.